Rio Reason's WWE debuted NXT talents on Raw. This week's Monday Night Raw saw the main roster debuts of four major NXT superstars with Ricochet, Aleister Black, current North American champion Johnny Gargano, and NXT champion Tommaso Ciampa, all making their debuts. All four men unsparingly were successful in their first ever Monday Night Raw matches, with Ricochet teaming with Finn Balor to defeat Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush, DIY beating the new tag team champions The Revival, while Black defeated Elias. But the debuts of each man did take the WWE Universe by surprise, with nobody expecting to see them on the main roster until at least after WrestleMania 35. At this point, it remains incredibly unclear whether this is a permanent move for them which would see them appear on Raw every week moving forward, meaning they could be on the WrestleMania card, or if this was a one-off. But it certainly got the WWE Universe talking. But what were the real reasons for the debuts? To shake things up. Even though it isn't clear right now if the NXT stars have joined the main roster for the long term, if they have, then this is a huge way to shake things up before WrestleMania, as this opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Nobody ever thought that there could be a possible Finn Balor and Ricochet match at Mania for the Intercontinental Championship or Aleister Black squaring off against Drew McIntyre, yet that is now the very distinct possibility and is something that people are hoping will happen. If WWE wasn't happy with how things were going for the WrestleMania build, then they have just provided a way to totally flip the script and change the narrative of the show and with competition outside WWE building that can only be seen as a positive move. Get people talking. Right now, we are on the road to WrestleMania 35 and everyone knows what that means. It is the most exciting time of the year to be a WWE fan where anything can go and when the company is known for pulling out all the stops in order to get the fans talking about the product, WWE is desperate to gain great ratings during this time of the year as that means more people are watching the show which increases WWE's chances of selling tickets or network subscriptions for the upcoming WrestleMania pay-per-view. Bringing four of the best wrestlers on the main roster, even if it's just for one night only, is a great way to have a real buzz about the show take place, especially on social media, and this is exactly what happened. Right now, everyone is talking about NXT stars debuting on Raw and dreaming about potential matches and storylines that could take place in the coming months, which means WWE has achieved its goal, to promote NXT. Even though many people still consider NXT to be a developmental brand, the fact is that NXT is now a fully fledged touring brand and in the eyes of Triple H at least, is a legitimate third brand that can compete with Raw and SmackDown. However, because it's only shown on the WWE Network, not as many people are able to view it and therefore don't understand what all the hype is about. Therefore having four of the show's best be showcased on the main roster on the USA Network is a great way to promote the show. There has been rumors that Fox is interested in possibly putting NXT onto its network and if that is the case, then this could be a terrific way of proving to people why they would watch the show if it begins to air on the network. With the North American Championship match taking place this week on the show, this was an excellent marketing ploy to get people to view the show and was smart work by WWE who will be also hoping to sell out TakeOver during WrestleMania weekend. Test out the responses. This isn't the first time WWE has brought NXT talents to the main roster on a seemingly random episode of Monday Night Raw and this is exactly how Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn appeared and even NXT UK Champion Pete Dunne was brought out for no real reason once upon a time. While it might seem pointless due to lack of any real storyline, a reason that WWE does this is to test how the WWE Universe reacts to the wrestlers. After all, not everybody watches NXT no matter how good the show is. Sadly for all four men, the LA crowd was one of the worst audiences in recent memory and none of them got the major pop that most fans would have expected with Ricochet getting the best of the reactions. However, nothing on the entire show managed to really draw a response from the silent crowd so hopefully WWE doesn't read too much into the poor reactions to the NXT talent. What do you make of the call ups? And who do you think will have the most success on Raw? Well guys, that's it for today. Let us know your thoughts on this situation in the comments section below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and that bell icon so you don't miss a single new video. You can follow us on Twitter, and as always, thank you for watching.